After you have added the schools you've attended, you will click on Transcript Entry. To complete the transcript entry tile, you must enter in all of your coursework. The selection process at Cal Poly is based on applicant-reported courses and grades. Undergraduate degree applicants are required to enter all college coursework based on transcript information as it appears on the transcript. Click Start on the college that you would like to enter coursework for. You will begin by clicking Add a Semester. This link is associated with the term type that you entered when adding in your college. So if you had entered in a college that had or quarters rather than semesters, this would say add a quarter instead. So you will select a term, the year that you attended for that term, as well as your academic status at the time of that term. You will select the appropriate completion status. If the coursework is already completed, you will select completed. If it is in progress or planned, you will select in progress or planned and not add any grades. You will enter in the course code as it appears on your transcript and a brief course title. Then select the subject area most appropriate. You must enter the credits that you earned for this course, including the decimals. If it is a transferable course, you must select the transferable course box. Save. If you've attended a California Community College, you may notice that as you're entering in the course code, courses will auto-populate from that college. If you select the one that matches your entry, it should auto-populate the course title and the number of credits. You will still need to enter in the subject as well as the grade. In order to receive credit for any AP or IB exams you've taken in high school with a passing score of 3, 4, or 5, you will enter those exam scores as credit on your application. For example, you can enter in the exam title in the course code as well as a brief description. In the subject area, you will need to enter test credit, no subject. In the grade section, you will enter CR for credit. Once you have finished entering all of your coursework, you will navigate to the General Education tab on the left. Scroll down and you must select a course that corresponds with each of the golden four subjects on the left. If you've auto-populated some of your classes, some of those courses will already appear. For those that do not, select the value from the courses below that you've entered. Do not select, I am not adding any general education courses, and do not leave any of these areas blank. Next, you will be taken to the standardized test section. As a reminder to transfer applicants, we will not be utilizing any previous ACT or SAT scores. Here you can click, I am not adding any standardized tests if this applies. Under the AP tab, if you've used any AP exam scores for credit in your transcript entry section, you will want to enter those AP scores here. Enter the date as it corresponds with the time you took the exam and your corresponding score. You will need to scroll to the bottom to hit save and continue. The next two tabs give you the opportunity to enter any CLEP scores or IB scores you have. If you have entered any AP or IB exam scores for credit in your transcript entry section, please also note that if you are selected for admission, you will need to submit those official scores as part of the verification process. For students whose AP scores may be archived with College Board, you will need extra time to get those official scores to us. Please plan accordingly.